All right, guys, um, I'm going to do a recap because there's a very important lesson um, I want to discuss here. It's very, very important, guys. Um, I'm long right now NEO. There was an opening range breakup on NEO. And uh, so as you see here for the first minute, it was really selling off in the pre-market. Uh, after the opening range breakout, we went long. I wanted to get a better entry, actually, but, you know, I, because, uh, you know, it was a little bit network delay, I got long and uh, eventually turned out to be a really nice opening range breakout. And then it was a consolidation here. I wanted to get a red to green uh, <clears throat> and I couldn't really just couldn't pop. Sold off. I got out completely out of here. Uh, so that was essentially the trade. So that was a one minute opening range breakout, squeeze up. So I went long here and then I slowly sold off. And then I tried to add here for the break of previous day close. I couldn't and I got out completely out of it. Stock sold off, came back up. As soon as I saw that it came back up, I went long, uh, added more at 44.25, popped up and I'm still in there as you see. It's actually on a different account that I'm taking this trade on it and I'm selling 10% uh, here with these hot buttons that we have. So I'm just getting out. So it's at a very resistance, but I'm gonna hold it to that. So QQQ, that's another position. But here's the lesson that I was going to actually mention that to you guys and this is very very important now friday had a really big sell-off on it and i was long on neo i mean after the i closed the chat i started over trading on neo and i kind of went hawk and i lost forty seven thousand dollars on it it wasn't it wasn't into the chat so a lot of people actually couldn't see that but i lost a lot of money on this big drop and then i posted on twitter let me actually bring it bring the twitter here so i'm going to show it to you so I actually posted in Twitter that um, um, somebody, somebody mentioned that I actually posted on Twitter here this. So that's uh, so I lost forty seven thousand dollars on that account uh, because of that stupid move that I, I just don't want to mention that always. Oh, we're making money. No, but that idiocity that I had and someone came and uh, post um, post something that uh, it's very important to discuss because uh, here. So this guy's Nicholas says should have just waited next month it will be at 60. So I uh, this is why I respond to him that you do not want to hold this kind of mess um, if you are getting a stock into a loss you don't want to hold maybe next month is get 60 because first of all you need the buying power because you want to do another trade and another trade you don't want to get a stock into a really uh, messy situation second of all is you don't know if it's really going back up to 60 you know it might just keep going down and what happened here in the pre-market what, what was the pre-market it was down eight percent you know imagine you have a pos big position all of your life is in one stock you know it just keeps going down <laughs> exactly downstone downstone is saying yo you know uh did uh, uh gm went back to 50 no this uh, did nicola went back to how much was that 100 you know, the, what this guy was telling me essentially was saying that if you get a stock at 90, hold is going to go back to 90. You never ever, when you are day trading, you never ever hold something um, just for the sake of maybe it won't come back. Maybe it does, but that shouldn't be part of your strategy that oh, I'm going to hold this one. Maybe it's just going to go back or, uh, go back or not. That is a horrible idea to hold a position and start justifying it for yourself. But, ah, it's going to go back. I think it's going to go back up and that kind of thing. That is a really, really horrible idea. So my plan is to go long a stop loss below the moving average for a squeeze above. And if it, does, it doesn't go, I'll get out of it. So now I'm getting actually selling more 10% here. So that's my position here. And uh, you know, if it comes back to my break even point, I'm gonna get out of it. I don't care if it's gonna go back tomorrow. If it's active tomorrow, I'm gonna keep trading it. If it's not active tomorrow, uh, you know, just I, I use that buying power to trade something else. Um, and you make that money back. This is this is this is the this is an example. You know, the next day you're gonna make that money back. You don't really need to, um, you know, hold yourself, uh, you know, stuck into a losing position. Here they go. It's forty nine thousand. You you don't need to really uh, marry to a position, especially a losing position. Patience is good in a winning position right now. For example, I have two thousand shares, and maybe if I'm patient, maybe it just keeps going higher. But you really don't want to marry a losing position without any plan that's a that's the most important lesson that i wanted to mention that to you guys that you got to be really really careful that's doing this is a very typical thing you know you buy apple and apple, even if apple oh sells off i know it's gonna go it's gonna go back up yeah but maybe it does then you're not a trader anymore now you're stuck in a losing position you're emotionally involved you're checking your phone all the time and you can't really tolerate these uh, moves ups and downs so 
Um, it's very important as a trader, you do not, as at, at least as an active trader, stick to your plan. My plan wasn't fundamental and new. My plan was just to get an, you know, a break out. And if I can't get the break out, I got to get out. You know, when I lost to $47,000, um, my plan was only $2,000 or $1,000 loss. But you know, when you start marrying a position, then your loss just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's enough for you to really, um, you know, uh, destroy your uh, trade. And then people say, oh, day trading is impossible. Well, it's not impossible. I'm an idiot. That's the fact. That other one is not a fact. You know, the fact that I was, you know, I shouldn't really do this stuff. So uh, that's the thing. So I'm going to get out more, guys. So here is uh, it's going to break out. So I still have 2,000 shares. I'm going to get out more on it. And again, you, you you just make that money back. You know, don't don't need to do. I mean, these numbers are big. I mean, even if it's for you 500 or $200, you know, just again, just get out and use that buying power and, uh, you know, start fresh. It took me two days in the weekend to even mention that into the community. You know, it was true because it wasn't during the chat time. And I was just, what the hell happened to me? It was the biggest loss of my life. And it took really two days. Eventually, last night, I said, you know what? I got to I gotta tell to at least uh, the community that okay, I'm an idiot. But uh, the lesson that I want you to guys to learn is... Uh, uh, do not and specifically I showed you that Twitter a lot of people are oh, you're an idiot why did you get out it's gonna go to 60 yeah maybe it does but that's not my plan I don't want to stuck uh, all of my buying power into that so that's uh, that's the lesson that I was going to say another thing that I was going to say is a new book is out Mike and I uh, wrote a book on um, uh, trading psychology and uh, the paperback version is out the Kindle and audio book is slowly coming in the link uh, we post I posted the link and even in this YouTube I'm gonna post it in the comments I appreciate if you guys can read and dr. Jonathan Katz also wrote a foreword for us so I really appreciate guys if you can um, you know read that and all of you are in there all of you guys are in there there's so many stories emails forums that we got that and uh, you know we'll talk about uh, a lot of stuff in there we really appreciate your comments and feedback in there all right, so that's uh, that's it. Yeah, so the only version is uh, right now paperback. The Kindle is going to be this week, and Audible takes a little bit of time for Audible to be completely produced. Um, yeah, I think this week is going to come, David. So Audible would be much uh, faster, but uh, audiobook is takes a long time for for them to process the stuff. So that's uh, that's another thing uh, that I wanted to mention. And uh, yeah, that's it. Well, Peak Capital Mentorship, guys, in 45 minutes. We're going to discuss a lot of things in Peak Capital, the bootcamp uh, in the Peak Capital website. <laughs> and I do apologize again for, uh, for the issue that we had on the website. We're fixing it hopefully this week. So um, yeah, so it's just our servers are overloading uh, and uh, we're going to fix that. Thank you so much, guys. And um uh, thank you. Um, so I'm going to stop this recording.